Hello, this is George Senda, the real, the official, the authentic, the original, the one, the only, the official, the guy from Pittsburgh, a chet, no cheesy YouTube commentators, imposters, trolls, or imposters who wear cat heads while using my content and video titles in their videos. And I want to tell you something. In Star Trek VI, Spock said that a comment made by James T. Kirk was an axiom, which is something accepted to be true. And Leonard McCoy in another movie said the bureaucratic mind is the one constant in the universe. Well, it gets worse than that today, I want to tell you. They lied to us, folks. Now, I don't know if it's deliberate or they aren't thinking these things through. I think it's more the latter, but it's also one bureaucracy just can't do anything simply. It would have been very easy to take the information from your tax return, to take your 1099 from the Social Security Department, one of these, get the information off there, but no. The IRS had to have it their way, and they aren't Frank Sinatra, and they aren't Burger King. They're requiring, if you have no tax liability for 2019 or 2020 or 2018, that you still have to file a return, but it gets worse. They tell you an IRS slash coronavirus that there's various free sites you can file your return. Now, in my downloads, I've got my return all filled out. But then you have to file a state return. This is one of the reasons why I wanted my subscribers to help donate to me five bucks a month. I could buy land in Nevada to move to Nevada because there is no state income tax in Nevada. And when you go through all this thing, I did it on two different sites. And both of them said, we, one said, we can file this federally, electronically. But you have to pay us 15 bucks to file for the state, even though you owe no, owe no money to the state. The other one said, we cannot file this with the federal government. You have to turn in both the state form and the federal form by mail. And I watched a video this morning. That's how I found out about this, this requirement that if you owe no money, you have to file a return. And so you got to go to the state. But it, there's more than this. So I call the Franchise Tax Board. Their automated system. And the first thing come up, due to community distancing, we are have limited staff to answer the phone. There may be a wait time. I said, okay. Then they have you press one for this, two for this, three for this, blah, blah, blah. You get through all that, and they say, we're unable to answer your question through our automated system. Our office is closed, but we're open eight to five. <laughs> and then click. So I said, okay. They're all screwed up. Everything's all screwed up. No matter who you call, it takes forever to get through. Social Security wanted to call me yesterday because they sent me the wrong form. This is on the, they sent me a refund from 2006. Money I was due 14 years ago. I got a check. In the, I got a deposit Saturday in my bank account. I went, ah. So, showed I screwed up Social Security. It took 14 years to figure out they owed me money. They never, they never paid me. So I decided to call my state senator's office in Sacramento. And I got a woman. I know nothing about taxes. Call the district office. So I called the district office first in Vallejo. And it said, we're out in the field. And I go, quit standing in the field and get back to the office. So then I call the Concord office. Dial the number correctly three times. Did I get the Concord office? No. I got, hi, it's a great day at Bleepity Bleep Insurance. Click. 
try to the fourth time. Got hi, it's a great day at bleep 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 insurance. So I call a different office, my state senator, and they're gonna get back to me. And I said, if you have a tax obligation or traffic fines or any obligation to the state of California, are they gonna try their get their greedy hands on the coronavirus virus stimulus money? Patty apparently has her tax preparer screwed things up and make her fill out the long form in 1990. And apparently she owes taxes from 1990. And he said, well, they may um, waive that as being too old. There may be tax forgiveness, but he doesn't know. And in my case, I owe a lot of traffic fines. I haven't been able to pay off because of the money problems and sickness and everything else. And they tried last year to, to garnish my checking account money. And I went, no, 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 you can't do that. So security money is protected. It's free from garnishment. And they called me back and said, yep, we will not make any further efforts to collect your traffic fines. It doesn't mean I'm not going to pay them. It's just I got to get back in my feet for longer than a week and a half or something, like for several months. And then I can go down there when this all blows over and say, okay, I want to pay on this. I want to pay on this, or you go to the collection agency, let me pay this one off, let me pay this one off. I can't come up with all the money. I got a seatbelt ticket. You know, it was $250 or $25, and if you don't pay it, it goes to $500. And we couldn't fit the seatbelts around us. I weighed too much, and Kathy's boobs are too big. And the cop pulled us over, CHB, and he wouldn't listen to reason. That's why we got the seatbelt extenders in a Prius. And the only car you can't get a seatbelt extender for is a Honda. So that's why we don't have a Honda anymore. But I finally got hold of someone at an office. They're going to call me back. I said, the federal corona stimulus checks are not going to be taken away if you owe a student loan money. And I'm trying to get the paperwork from Social Security right here to get my student loan discharged. And I don't know when I'm going to get that. And if you owe federal taxes, they won't take your money off your corona check, but you got to mail in a return. You if you can't e-file, you'll have to physically mail in. They're talking. If you mail it in, you may not get your check till the end of 2020. And if you don't mail it in, you'll net you won't get a check. If you don't file, you'll never get a check. And to top it off, students 18 to 24, they're not listed as dependents on their parents' tax returns are not in the legislation. They're getting screwed. Even though some of them work. Some of them work part-time in student jobs or jobs off campus. They're not getting a check because they're not counted as taxpayers to their students. That's not right. That's really wrong. So, uh, <laughs> and the one woman at the office that I talked to, I called Sacramento back at a different office. And she said, well, you're sorry you're frustrated. I said, I don't know who started this frustration word business. Every bank, every credit card company, every government agency you call, we're sorry you're frustrated. I said, look, if I can't get this open, that's frustrating. If I miss the bus by one minute and I have a doctor's appointment in San Francisco, that's frustrating. But I never use the word. Because usually I'm going like, I'm pissed off, I'm mad at the bottle, I can't get it open, or I'm mad at the bus line, or something. But I never use frustrating in my life trying to deal with these people. You're frustrated, sir. No. And quit telling me you're sorry. I keep telling companies, customer service agents, if you personally haven't done anything wrong, quit it telling me how you're sorry you are and how you apologize. Correct the problem. Don't have it happen in the first place. I, I spent... Five hours on the phone with T-Mobile the other day trying to get, where is it, trying to get <clears throat> in here somewhere. Oh, it's being blocked by the iPad. Anyway, trying to get my Wi-Fi device activated. Nine different people 
five of them were total idiots till I got someone competent, and God help me, I got to do it again because they said the chip in there, the SIM card, is a one-time use only SIM card. This cool pad, and they will have to send me a new SIM card, and I'll have to go through the whole circus all over again, and they too are limited staffing to the coronavirus. And this is my personal theory why uh, countries overthrow their leaders and uh, kill them, <laughs> because people have, they've had it. They can't deal anymore with the bureaucracy, or they're being, they're being persecuted, they're being killed by the government, they're being starved to death. And a group of them finally all get together and they go, you know, I'm really pissed off at these guys in Moscow or Paris or wherever. And they overthrow the government. And I also have a, a theory that if this uh, coronavirus lockdown, even though Trump doesn't call it a lockdown, if this social distancing goes on past the 30th of May, you could start seeing riots because people's nerves are getting on edge. And someone, I think it was in Florida, 86-year-old woman was standing in line. She didn't do social distancing and some jerk got pissed off, knocked her to the ground. She hit her head. She's dead. You're going to see more, more of those kind of things. Kathy w was on the bus yesterday and she asked two guys, two homeless guys, if she could sit down, and the guy starts yelling and screaming at her, Oh, you, um, you might have the disease. Go away, you can't get near me. And yet they're sitting next to each other. And he called her the B word. So, and in Las Vegas, they tested people at the Las Vegas homeless shelter for corona, and they turned up positive, and now they are rounding them up. And they're putting them in a parking lot. That's where they're going to be living now. Hope it don't rain. So the corona craziness continues. They do have a test kit that will find out if you're positive now in five minutes. Abbott Labs has come up with that. And that's a good thing. But what's going on with this whole thing is nuts. You can't get hold of anybody on the phone. Instead of keep it simple, stupid, we've got your Social Security number. We've got your 1099 thing for Social Security. You'll get a check. Then they tell you, and there's about eight free websites attached to IRS coronavirus that will do your taxes. And all of them tell you we can't file electronically. You've got to mail it in. So it's absolutely idiotic. So I want to let people know. That it is not just, we got your number, we'll send you a check. I don't know if Mnuchin didn't think this out, or you just cannot get the IRS to do anything that would be so simple. We've got your tax return from 2018 or 2019, or you're on Social Security, and you don't owe us any money, and we'll deposit your bank account. That would be simple. But it's impossible for these agencies to do anything for the benefit of man or womankind without making it more difficult. And it's enough to drive you crazy. All right, this is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. Have a great day. Stay wet, warm, dry, or cool as the case may be. Stay safe out there. Oh, yeah, poor Kathy is having... Uh, a major problem with her kidney or back, and I told her she may well have a kidney stone, and that could be why she's in so much pain. She's going to go to the doctor today and see what what is going on. But I had a kidney stone, and the pain of that thing going from my kidney to wherever it goes and into your bladder and out your urethra is incredible and I never did know if it passed but it must have but it's not something I ever want to have again <laughs> okay and Kathy will have to come here because they're 
the computer she's got is screwed up. She did something to it, and I'll have to file her return for it, and then we'll have to go get paper printouts, print it up, and go get tax forms printed up and mail them in for, for her and for me and Patty, too. And uh, they're going to call me back on, on both of those things to see if the Corona stimulus checks are free of tax obligation or traffic fine obligation. And if you're, if you owe taxes to the franchise tax board, will you still get a check or they're going to get their little hands on it? By the way, this is the little teensy SIM card in the cool pad that they can, that's another stupidity. They send you a free cool pad expired in 30 days or 30 gigabytes of use, and it's only usable once. That's dumb. They should have just made it. You can just renew it. No problem. That You can renew it, but I went through, it took me nine people to find out that they can't. They gave me a reference number, and they can get renewed, but they have to mail me a new SIM, SIM card. I just put it in so you can use it again and not have to go through the circus of dealing with people for hours, five hours on the phone with T-Mobile. And uh, I, don't, I hope it, when this everything, if it ever turns back to normal, I won't have to ever spend five hours on the phone with anybody. Because even though I'm not working and I'm retired, it's enough to drive you crazy. All right, that's it. Bye-bye for now.